Miss Natasha Denona has revealed the newest palette to launch. You can say it now. I was wrong. I led you astray, <laughs> but I'm really excited to be talking about it today. I don't have it. If you're looking for a review, I don't have these two new items. I'm just chit-chatting about them because Natasha Denona is in my real house and I love talking about her launches. So anyways, two days ago, she posted a little sneak peek. She was like, something's coming. It's going to be a mini. Which of these haven't we done a mini of? Biba was the one that most of you guys were guessing. And them. I am very lucky to have an amazing community of internet sleuths. So a lot of times you guys will send me sneak peeks. I didn't get a sneak peek this time, but a couple of you sent me uh, an Instagram story of s alleged launches that are coming in 2022 from Sephora. So my guess was it was a mini trio chrome. I was wrong, but keep your eyes open. I think it's going to launch in 2022. I'm still crossing my fingers because I would love to see that. But anyways, you guys were right. It was a mini Biba. Most of you were saying that and it makes total sense. I mean, Biba is such a classic everyday eyeshadow palette in the Natasha Denona line. I really do love it. I do look forward to Natasha Denona's colorful color stories because she really does go there and I was interested to see what she would do with the trio chrome but Biba is so marketable so many of you guys love it and it made total sense for them to come out with mini Biba I must admit I was surprised though because they came out with the baby Biba which did have shades directly from the Biba palette but I just wasn't expecting it I thought it was too soon from baby Biba but hey we have it we have the mini Biba eyeshadow palette and then we also have a rose cheek duo, which is a cream blush and highlighter. So here are the details. You can find this on Natasha Denona's website. You can find it on Natasha Denona's Instagram and on Trend Mood. I took most of my screenshots directly from Trend Mood's Instagram because she has a whole nice, one little nice place to share for you guys. This eyeshadow palette in this cheek duo is launching December 20th. You can, however, pre-order it right now on the Natasha Denona website, but it just depends wherever you like to shop from. It's going to come out on December 20th at Sephora, it looks like, according to Trend Mood. So totally able to pre-order it though on Natasha's website. I, I don't like Natasha's shipping for some reason for me. It's always like $15 to $20 to ship unless you spend a certain amount. But when it comes to her mini products, I never hit that amount. So shipping is always really expensive. If I wasn't a YouTuber, I would not have purchased it from Natasha's website because shipping was too much. So that's my two cents on that. Anyways, let's take a look closer look at the products. So we have the mini Biba eyeshadow palette, which is inspired by the Biba eyeshadow palette. Let me move over. This is going to be $25. It's a great deal. Now, if you do all the math for the value of this, you're not getting a lot of product. It's just a great way to get a taste of Natasha Denona without breaking the bank all at once. I think it's worth it personally you're not paying 60 bucks for a palette so you can't beat that and this has five new nude and brown shades with a neutral rosy undertone I definitely see that rose undertone and then as well you can see at the bottom we have the rose cheek duo which is $19 and this is a cream blush and highlighter I loved Natasha Denona's cream blush formula but the one that I got in the glam face palette dried out already so I'm a little nervous nervous about this but let's take a deeper dive into the eyeshadow palette first and I'll talk about it like I said this is inspired by the Biba palette which is their best-selling everyday essential 15 pan palette I'm getting this directly from the Natasha Denona's website so it's extending the concept of an all neutral palette all new shades like I said perfect to create a variety of looks for every occasion from daytime looks to evening smoky eyes because you do have that dark brown I like this color story am I jumping out of my seat for it? It's a neutral palette. I'm not, but I do love the rosy hues that it has here. I think it's very beautiful. I think it's interesting that she went rosy with this, considering that the Biba, I feel like, is definitely more neutral. I don't see too much rosiness in the Biba. So I think it's nice, but for being neutral, it, it looks more rosy than the Biba palette. Like, you put them together, I don't necessarily see see it as an extension. This looks smack like the glam face palette to me. If you go on the Natasha website, you'll see this palette next to the glam face palette. 
This looks like an extension of the Glam Face palette to me. I don't know. It's just the way they were set up on the website together, but I think this is very pretty. I think a lot of you are going to like this. I know the majority of people are neutral lovers, and a rosy undertone, neutral rosy, tends to be very flattering on most people, especially for a cohesive look. With a blush, it all really kind of aligns together, so I think a lot of you guys are going to like that. Looking at the textures, we have Bruno, which is a deep mahogany brown. Izzy, which is a nude dusty rose. Love me a dusty rose shade. Those are some of the best transitions. We have Blaze Nude, which is a light rosy nude. We have Plush, which is a light medium dusty coral, and Wink, which is a medium coral brown. The finishes she has in here are three creamy mattes, one metallic. What does CP stand for in her formula? Why am I blinking on this? Oh, CP is the cream to powder formula. So very interesting. She put the cream to powder formula in that. I know there's a number of people who don't like the cream to powder formula. I personally like it ever since she's improved the formulation. You don't get any fallout from it, but I think some people find it harder to work with or pick up on a brush. But I personally really like it. I think it's very user-friendly for beginners. Anyways, I mean, just looking at the eyeshadow palette, it doesn't really excite me. I think it's pretty and it's one of those palettes where it's going to be very easy to use, very easy to throw in a makeup travel bag. One that I will reach for for more than likely than other ones because of how wearable it is. Because colorful stories excite me, but then I never wear them. <laughs> So this is one of those where I'm gonna like it when I have it in my hands. I'm interested to see how shiny that metallic is. I feel like that is going to be the deciding factor of how much I am going to wear this. If it's extra glimmery, that's perfect. That is all I need. I would have loved maybe another metallic in here. I don't know. Maybe since she's playing with the rosy hues, like a metallic rose I think would be really pretty in here. Uh, but I mean it just, it looks like a essential palette that makes sense. I'm not excited about it, but it's beautiful and the looks that she's created looks beautiful. So let's take a dive now into the Rose Cheek Duo. Now these little guys are tiny, tiny, but again, a great option for travel or just to try a Natasha Denona product at a somewhat more reasonable price that is not going to break the bank. It looks pretty, but it definitely doesn't look essential. It looks like a pink blush and then a champagne highlight doesn't look like anything new and exciting so let me see what she says i'm sure these tones are going to complement the eyeshadow palette a lot since they are coming together so this includes two brand new shades of her iconic cream blush and highlight formulas suitable for every skin tone i can't speak on that but that is a pretty big claim so the cream blush they say is a rich and creamy texture in a universal pink shade that gives cheeks a flush of color formulated with a powder soft finish for long wearing natural luminosity. I'm interested to feel the formulation on this uh, to see if maybe it's going to dry out or if it's going to last. She has a couple different cream blush finishes. One is more like a cream powder feeling and another one is more like a true cream. I feel like this is going to be the cream powdery one just by the way she described it. And then the highlight is in the super glow highlight formula which is chef's kiss awesome so this is the award-winning intense powder highlight to give you the ultimate 3d glass like glow blah 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 uh it comes in a new universal shade number two light medium if this is going to be a beautiful formula i think you are really going to like this one do you need this one if you have a collection of blushes and highlights probably not these colors don't look very unique to me but then again it's like how unique can you get with a blush and highlight i'm interested though i do like the cream blush powder highlight dynamic most of the times with this though she'll use a cover for the cream one to make it last longer and two so the powder doesn't get into the cream I don't think that she did this for that which i understand why it's probably more expensive to do but just something to be noted. Looks beautiful in the swatches on everybody. Anyways, overall, my thoughts about this collection. I mean, I think it's cute. I think a lot of you guys are gonna like it and I don't think it was a bad idea at all. I think it is smart to market this off of the Biba palette because so many people love it. And I don't think she did a bad job from what I can see with the color curation. It just looks 
so much like the glam face palette that I'm looking at right now. And I will have to see the palette in person, but I want to see it next to the Biba palette because this looks so much more rosy. I know the intention is that it's rosy, but I feel like sometimes her extensions don't really make sense to me. You know, when she has the big palette and the baby palette, sometimes I don't really see the correlation. For this, all, the only correlation that I see is they're both neutral palettes. But we'll see. I mean, I'm excited about this one. I have already pre-ordered it, and I feel like, assuming that this is a great classic Natasha Denona formulas, these will end up being used quite regularly by me because I am a boring girl at heart when it comes to my makeup. And I was wrong. I was wrong. You were right if you said it was the Mini Beepa palette. Keep an eye out for the review. I will have all the links to purchase from down below. And if you do want to pre-order, that will be down below for me. And then lastly, and most importantly, the most important part of this style of video, I want feedback. The point of me making this video talking about a product that is not in my hands is so that you can also tell me what you think. So let me know your thoughts on this palette. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Does it look too similar to things you already have in your collection? Were you expecting this? Are you picking it up? Let me know your thoughts down below. I can't wait to chat with you guys. And until next time, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I am posting every day because it is Vlogmas. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.